So China continues to target Vion and we continue to expose China. The Wuhan virus was made in China in a lab. Let that register. We've been telling you about the possibility of this for months. Now a Chinese virologist has confirmed it. The virus was made in a lab in China. The scientist says she has proof that this virus was made in the Wuhan lab. The virologist's name is Dr. Li Mengyan. She's been researching on the Wuhan virus since 2019. She was investigating suspected SARS-like cases coming out of Wuhan in December 2019. It was then that she found out about the Wuhan virus. Dr. Li Meng claimed that she had warned her boss about the human-to-human -human transmission of this virus. But she was told to keep quiet. This was when Dr. Li Meng was working with the Hong Kong School of Public Health. When the pandemic spread, she fled to the United States. And now she has broken her silence about her knowledge of the virus. The Chinese virologist has answered many questions and raised many others. First, Dr. Li Meng says that the lab that made the Wuhan virus is owned by the Chinese government. Second, Chinese officials knew about the human-to-human -human transmission of the virus. What they also knew is that the Wuhan virus has a high mutation rate, meaning an outbreak was imminent if the virus was not controlled. There was someone else who had knowledge of all of this. The director of a lab affiliated with the WHO, the World Health Organization. So neither the Chinese government nor the WHO affiliated lab did anything to sound an alarm. They watched quietly as the virus spelled chaos, first in China and then across the world. Dr. Li Meng claims that she had warned Chinese officials about the danger of the Wuhan virus. She also tried to tell the world about it, only to be threatened. What about the Wuhan wet market? Dr. Lee says the theory about the virus originating from the Wuhan wet market is a smoke screen, a diversion. And she's not the first person to point a finger at the Wuhan Institute of Virology. In the month of March, the UK's former chief of intelligence service, Sir Richard Dearlove, also warned people to not dismiss the idea that this virus could have been made in a lab. Another scientist, Giuseppe Trito, has made similar claims in his recent book. He says the virus was, quote unquote, genetically engineered in the Wuhan Institute of Virology's lab in a program supervised by the Chinese military. And who can forget the doctor from Wuhan, Li Wenliang? He had warned the Chinese authorities about the Wuhan virus. This was before he himself succumbed to it. How long can China hide these stories? How long can China steer the global narrative on the Wuhan virus, how long can it hide the origin of this virus? All fingers are now pointing at the Wuhan lab and the role of the Chinese officials is no secret.